Duke has long been a leader in Alzheimer's disease research, the genetic factor that still to this day is the one that is most clearly linked to risk of Alzheimer's disease. That link was discovered here at Duke. We have technologies and tools that we've never had access to before, and we're gonna use those tools for understanding how the brain works um, in the context of diseases that I work on, like multiple sclerosis um, and Alzheimer's disease. The theme of the Duke UNC Alzheimer's Disease Research Center is to understand factors across the lifespan that contribute to the development or the progression or the experience of Alzheimer's disease. We are so excited to be a new center of excellence for Alzheimer's disease research. This makes us one of 33 centers uh, in the country that is funded by the NIH. We know that the brains of people with Alzheimer's disease begin to show metabolic changes years to decades before the thinking and memory problems. We're enrolling people between the ages of 25 and 80, and most of the people that we enroll are cognitively normal. So they'll receive imaging of their brain, they'll give us a blood sample, they'll get their vision tested, their hearing tested, we test their strength. Squeeze, 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 release. We test their mobility, their gait speed, in addition to testing how their memory and thinking is doing, looking at all the age-related changes that happen truly across the lifespan, middle life, um, young life, and on into our older years. We're also using novel uh, technologies uh, to understand the processes of Alzheimer's disease development. What we're doing is we're taking brain tissue from decedents um, but taking four different regions of the brain, uh, understanding the progression of Alzheimer's disease within these four regions. So we're able to map individual cells, um, the different types of cells within these four different brain regions to understand how the disease progresses. Ultimately, we want to find a cure. By understanding how the disease develops, we can just cure the disease instead of uh, suffering with it.